Easter eggs and everything you got to do Let's get to the day. Let's do it. Daily Dish. On this National Dolphin Day, we thought you'd, we'd share an amazing experience for a group of whale watchers off the coast of California. Now, just look at this. They were suddenly surrounded oh by a dolphin stampede. The video from <laughs> Oceanside Adventurers Whale Watching Group shows dozens of dolphins interacting with a boat. Experts say this type of gathering is not unusual. Dolphins are often found in pods mm -hmm. of two or more, sometimes 30. But on some occasions, pods gather to super pods of hundreds, even several thousand. Now, that is a it sight is beautiful. to behold. They're just so smooth when they, you know, up and out of the water and back in. And it's like they're almost all in sync, too. It's, yes, it, it really is well choreographed, but they're such <laughs> yes. joyful beings. Yeah. And, uh, it's like they're just excited there. to see all those people. Oh, look at all yeah. those people. Like, look at me. <laughs> and look at us. We're fabulous. That is really something. Love it. Great video. Well, a workman in New York is cashing in on baby names. Mm -hmm. Now, just listen to this. Okay. Taylor Humphrey, no relation to me, I don't think. <laughs> She's a professional baby namer. What? And say, see, she makes $150,000 a year me. naming children for her wealthy clients. Oh, my Lord. She says she's been approached by parents who, after the second or third child, have run out of names. Poor things. <laughs> they pay anywhere from $1,500 to as much as $10,000. No way. Are you kidding, kidding me? me. I, you have to be kidding me. This blows my mind. I mean, call me. I'll tell you for I free. I will do. I can come up with a couple <laughs> lists for you. I <laughs> Surely there's more to it than that. I would hope. Is there, is there more to it than that? I don't know. <laughs> well, sweet little things. I mean, but they're adorable, and I'm sure she comes up with great names, but not worth ten thousand dollars. Well, or maybe we're just in the wrong biz. Yes, yeah, let's look into that. We're just, we're gonna, just call Stacy and I. You don't even yeah. have to write us a check. That's right. Did you have a hard time coming up with um, your children's not names? Not really. I just, you know, my I use May on the air. That's my maiden name. Higginbotham is my. Last name, so it's long, mm -hmm. <laughs> to say the it least. Is. I just wanted short, concise names. I will say, though, so Claire is my oldest daughter, and then I had my twins after that, and Gwen is my second daughter. Gwen was not on my list, you know, not even in my oh, head. Really? Uh, you know, sometimes I think, oh, well, you use your second choice <laughs> for your, if you have another girl or another boy. Nope, but then I came across it, and I just loved it, and then my little boy's name is Colin, so. Is she Gwendolyn? She is not. That's She's why I said dead. I wanted short first names because, because my children had to have this long last name. I was, Good I was thinking of them. Good thinking, <laughs> yes. Mom. Yes. That was what was going through my head. <laughs> well, this is completely ridiculous. Uh, Josh <laughs> Shearer else? is a host of the Mythical Kitchen on YouTube, and he posted one of his TikTok videos on Twitter, and it just blew up. So this is him making what he claims is a Spokane-style pizza. Now, the reactions were swift and intense, simply saying, uh, no. Other people and journalists from Spokane said, there's no way this is a Spokane-style pizza, because apparently there is no such thing. <laughs> so he, you can see his creations in other videos in the I, mythical kitchen. So with the pineapple and I mean, and it looks good. And, 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 and strawberries? There's yes, it's strawberries. Sal canned salmon. Oh, okay. So uh, yes, I, take, I take what I said back. It does not look good. No, it definitely it does not sound good. Stuart, and are you down with that? Thing. Adam Trinkle. And Stuart Spokane, okay. loves pizza, right? But not that kind. I think what we've learned from these past two stories okay. is you can you can try anything. And you can see be famous you, for anything. Exactly, and maybe even rich. We will name your baby, and we'll come up with the Evansville pizza. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the tri-stater. Tri